different kind of Saturday evening. The, just about at the last week of the Charles Night. And hilly. <laughs> Never mind, let's crack on. Hi guys, yeah it's my car. Uh, I'll tell you why I'm part of that. I only live. Oh no, 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 it's fine, don't worry. Hey, you, you, were, you don't see anyone over there, like the container over there. I haven't seen, I haven't seen anyone at all. Yeah, no, yeah. it's fine. I'll, I've just been... I'll be passing through it. I'll do that, I'll do that all the time. I'll do that all the time. I'll try to do 10 miles in about 5 weeks. People are checking my progress and I, I, I might it's on GPS yeah, yeah. and I don't want anyone to see my house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always park somewhere yeah. else. No, best, of, best of luck with that anyway. Okay lads, thank you. Yeah. Okay, bye bye. Just uh, not a long, long run tonight. But enough, just hopefully. I didn't really want to come out on a Saturday night running. But I think if I didn't do something tonight, I might have been struggling to get everything completed with the recovery and things. So it's starting to get a wee bit dark now. But I think when the starts come on, it should show that I've broken back, that I've done enough, so that I should be able to have a go at two long runs in the next week. And that's it done, at last. Can't wait. Well, that's the end of my wee Saturday night run. Bit of a surreal Saturday night. Pretty dark. The, just a, I think it was eight or nine miles tonight, but it should break the back of things and make things easier leading up to last week. No problems tonight, apart from, as you saw, the wind the low hills and I got one little shock the halfway round the route I was going past my car that I had parked the, at the side of the road and I got there and there was a couple of police cars taking my number plate and walking around it but um, uh, so I was <laughs> I'll probably get the heart rate up a little bit but once I went over and explained to the, the lads what, what my car was they were just checking it out because they were for people in the area so apart from that set up for the, the last week let's get this thing done
Warren. Here we are again then, coming up to the end at last. It is Tuesday 26th of May, about half past seven in the morning. Sun is out. It's a little bit chilly actually, but I don't think that'll last. The, I'm pleased to say, the wind, unlike the other night. So, it's looking like a nice day. We have got, what, well, I've got 52 miles to go. So, it's just a case of getting that done, getting this done. The beautiful day, no times or anything planned today. So, let's just see where it takes us and let's start whittling down these mileages. Let's get it done. There we go, that's me coming up for about 10 to 11 miles into this. But lovely Tuesday morning. It's funny how it might be cold, but I never, you never feel cold in this for very long. There we go. Morning, morning. Everyone says hello to each other these days. It's good. The, yeah, I'm at the usual first part of the run where absolutely everything feels wonderful. Birds in the sky, beautiful scenery, everything's great, everything feels easy. I know what's coming in 10 miles though. Let's keep it going. This one and one run to go. Get in there. Okay, about halfway down. Just make sure I focus here and cross over this walk, walk over the canal. Nice view, we're going back that way. And then we'll start our way back. Let's get, let's get going. Well, Probably can't be seen on this camera. Midges! I'm pretty sure I swallowed about five of them a couple of minutes ago. Glorious weather. What a day. Who can predict the Scottish summer? Okay, right, that's, that's me about 20, 21 miles into this, certainly on the downward spiral, on the route and probably physically, but going okay, starting to feel that little bit edgy in the legs, but that's to be expected, at least it's taking a little bit longer, but five miles to go, and then there's only one to go. Oh. Beautiful day. At least where I am now, there's less midges. Right, let's get the head down. Grind it out time. Let's go. couple of miles to go. Thank goodness. Thank goodness. The 
just can't escape hills wherever I'm here. Hills everywhere. But nearly there, a couple of miles. It's just a case of grinding it out, get on with it, and talk, sco talk sports gonna get me through the end. Whew. Well, that's another one done for. Oh, where are we? There we are. Yeah, that's another one done for today. Thank goodness. The, all the usual stacks should appear wherever they usually appear. The. Oh. <sighs> Shadow's gone. That's me done. Mentally, physically done. Time to go and put the feet up. <laughs> Wednesday, 27th of May. Very quick, three, three and a half miles just to set me up for the finish. Let's go. Morning, here we are again then. It is Friday, 29th of May. And I'm hoping that this is going to be the last run and it is mission accomplished. So the plan is today it is an absolutely roasting day, probably the hottest day of the year. It's scheduled to be forecast 25 degrees. 25 degrees in the Highlands of Scotland. So I'm hoping to make this as easy as I can for myself today and that I'm going to do the run that I did the very first time. And I'm going to mark out the basically about the width of a bit large football pitch, a couple of cones and just run it um, to get the 26. The benefits from that for me today is it's a bit easier on my thighs. It's only a couple of days since the last run, the 26, so I usually have three in between them, but now I've only had two. So be hopefully good for my, my legs. Um, I My rucksack must weigh about 18 pounds today, so I can put that on the grass and just top up as and when required. So the, let's get set up. Here we are then, hopefully the last run. I am just set up on the pitch where I started the very first run. So I am literally going to run the length, the breadth, or the breadth of a full pitch for 26 miles. This top is coming off once it starts to warm up. Anyway, let's get going. That is me about eight miles into today's run. Going okay so far, usually does at this point. The, I would say the only problem, if it's a problem, is again, it's just so warm. When, when I initially came up with this, I was ready for the cold, ready for the wind. Rain and to be honest, even snow. I never thought I was going to be running in 25 degree heat. Not going to complain though. Let's keep it going on the downward spiral. Okay, that's me about 21 miles into the run, the last run 
of the challenge. I must admit, I'm beginning to find it quite edgy, quite sore. The legs are feeling sore after completing the 26 on Tuesday. And the heat, well, I'm not going to complain about the heat, but man alive, it's making things tough. Anyway, we're nearly there. We've got to just grind it out as ever. And I've worked out. You think a lot when you run. And I've worked out the resilience is just suffering strategically managed. You've just got to break everything down into little chunks and try and cope. Anyway, the end is in sight. We'll get there, slowly, but we'll get there. Well, this is it. The challenge is over. That is 262 miles, 10 marathons, or a few miles more than that, actually completed. The, although I've got a reasonable fitness, the, that was, I was quite tough doing the 10 marathons mentally and physically. It was a bit of a challenge, but apart from blisters, bruise, bruises, bruises, uh, I need a new pair of trainers and a sunburn and sunstroke on one occasion, which I didn't expect. They have come through it okay. They, oh, and I never lost one pound in weight. In actual fact, I think I've gained a couple of pounds, but there we go. So, I would just like to thank everyone that has made a contribution to the, the charity cause I was running this for, the NHS Charity Challenge. And thank you also for anyone that's taken the time to follow the journey. So, as I say, I'm a reasonably fit, but the, I just hope that maybe this has inspired maybe someone else to get into running. If I can do it, anyone can do it, because I am no endurance runner, but I have just made myself uh, get through it. So again, I would just still like to thank everyone for watching this and bye bye.